So this is a recent acquisition into the collection. We're very excited about it. But first, I'm going to give you a little historical background. So in October of 1858, Abraham Lincoln is locked in a heated race with Stephen A. Douglas to see who is going to represent Illinois in the United States Senate. Now, both men agreed to have a series of public debates that were held at locations like Ottawa, Alton, Galesburg, and so on. But in between those debates, each man decided that they were going to go out and give political rallies on their own so that they would have an opportunity to speak to the voters without anyone else disturbing them. So, on October the 1st of 1858, Abraham Lincoln found himself in Pittsfield, Illinois, speaking at a rally that had been helped to organize by the Gilmer family. Um, after Lincoln's speech that day, which lasted over two hours, Lincoln was asked to sit for a photographer named Calvin Jackson. And this is what Mr. Jackson created. No, this is a very special image. This is what's called an ambrotype. Um, Unlike a, a daguerreotype or a tintype or a CDV or any of the other kinds of images that you hear coming out of that era, the, the image itself is actually a glass plate negative. And the darkness that you see in Mr. Lincoln's jacket and his hair, all of that comes through because there's actually a black backing behind the glass plate image. So rather than this being a photograph of Mr. Lincoln under glass, it's the glass itself that is actually the image of Lincoln. Lincoln very early on understands the power of photography, how by disseminating his image, he's able to speak to a much wider audience than he could ever hope to do by knocking on doors and shaking hands. Um, we see this especially during his presidency. Lincoln is uh, probably the most photographed president of his era. Um, he knows how important it is for the voters to be able to see who he is. So usually during campaigns if he was asked to pose for a photograph he would try to to honor those wishes when most of us think about abraham lincoln we think of president lincoln we think of the five dollar bill lincoln we think of the daniel chester french sculpture at the lincoln memorial um, this is what the voters in Illinois in 1858 would have seen. Quite frankly, this is what the voters in 1860 in Springfield would have seen. This is a clean-shaven man who has grown up on the frontier, who is a little un unwieldy, ungainly. He's six foot four. Many of his outfits don't fit quite properly. Um, but he has an ability to speak, and he has a passion for trying to help Illinois voters. No, when Lincoln sat for, for Calvin Jackson, he asked that two images be made. Uh, he asked that one image uh, would be presented to the Gilmer family, who again had helped to organize the campaign rally. But the second image he wanted to be given to a gentleman by the name of Charles Lame. Now, why this was special was that Mr. Lame had been uh, part of the, the group that was organizing the rally. Um, they were test firing a cannon. It was, it was very common at that time to have music, to have food, to have fireworks at these kinds of events, and, and cannons were there as well. And when they were preparing the cannon the day before Lincoln's speech, it, it accidentally misfired, uh, and Charles Lane was severely injured. It nearly took one arm off, and he had severe burns over a, a good portion of his body. Um, so Mr. Lincoln presented this image to him, uh, both as a way of thanking him for his support, but also thanking him for his sacrifice. This one stayed within um, Lame's family, uh, passed down through multiple generations until last summer when the matriarch of that family passed away, unfortunately because of cancer. Uh, her four children knew uh, that it would not be fair for one of the four of them to have it. They knew that they couldn't cut it into four pieces and divide it equally among them. So they decided that it needed to come to an institution where it could be displayed, where it could be researched and cared for, and where the people of America could enjoy it. 